Hey guys, what is up? Today we're gonna make a very simple pizza dough and obviously I'm gonna finish it by making the pizza. So, um, let's just get right to it. Let's know, <laughs> this is the second time making it because I didn't like the way it turned out the first time. First we're gonna do three cups of all-purpose flour. And then we're gonna do one teaspoon, no sorry, one tablespoon of baking powder. I'm going to do a teaspoon of sugar and one teaspoon of salt. So um, an optional thing for you to add just to make it more fancy is just like a bit of an Italian spice mix. So it's just dried herbs. There's not going to be like any extra salt or anything in there. Uh, just put as much as you want. So just take a spatula, mix up your dry ingredients. Then what you're going to do is make a well in the middle of the flour mixture. In another container, we're going to have one cup of water, warm water. Um, we're going to do a tablespoon of olive oil and a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Now you can actually use um, regular white vinegar as well if you don't have apple cider vinegar. All right, so now that you have all that mixed together, um, you're gonna put it in the well that we made inside the dry mixture. And you're just gonna take your spatula and get it all combined. Don't go crazy, like don't like start mixing it vigorously. Um, that will get you nowhere. I want to get to a point where like um, your mixture is not swampy or anything. You can just start using your hands. And just basically you're pressing it down, flipping it over, and just getting all the pieces to be one giant piece. All right, the next thing you're going to do is grab a bit of flour, put it directly on your counter or whatever surface you're using. Figures my dog decides to start eating dinner while I'm making dinner, so um, you're welcome for the background noise, if you can hear that. You probably end up adding around two to three, depending on how much um, water you added or how accurate, I, sh I should say, that you were with your measurements with water. So if you added a little bit more, you'll end up using a little bit more flour. Okay, so now you're going to take your rolling pin or your wine bottle and roll this out nice and flat. So I'm just going to move a couple of things out of the way. I just have this old pasta sauce jar, which should work also just as, as well. So you're just going to flatten it out as much as you can one way, turn it, go again. Once it's getting pretty close, you can kind of like stretch it out with your hands. I haven't done this in a long time, so do not judge <laughs> my <laughs> technique. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take our pizza pan. Um, also, I should note that uh, yesterday I tried this out and I used a non-perforated pizza pan, um, but this one is, so it has a bunch of little holes in it. And we're still going to put a parchment paper on top just in case, but if it's no stick it should work and it should be fine. Um, so what you're going to do now is put it on your pan and any bits that are kind of like hanging off you're going to take your fingertips and kind of like crawl them in. So that's where you're going to get your crust. And you want to make like a crust all the way around the perimeter. And it doesn't have to be like perfect. Um, like I said, this is not Panago pizza or whatever ever other pizzas there are. So essentially, it should look like that. Just beautiful. <laughs> um, 
So in the meantime, uh, we can get um, all of our ingredients out, um, clean up this floured area, um, and yeah, start adding stuff to our pizza. So while I was cleaning up, I realized how unbelievably stupid it would be actually if I left this um, wax paper under here. So I'm taking it off, but this is gonna be, I'm sure it wasn't too hard. Um, Cause this is a nonstick pen. <laughs> so welcome to my very tired brain today. Um, all right, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is put some sauce on. So I actually am going to make half of the pizza with red sauce and a half of it just with um, olive oil uh, because both are tasty as hell. All right, so what you'll need is a spoon. Don't put too much, otherwise it will be soggy. So just spread it evenly. your olive oil, drizzle it carefully, and then take a clean spoon. So on our red sauce side, I'm going to put both um, or on the red sauce side, I'm gonna put pepperonis. And just fill it up as much as I can. It's vegan, by the way, obviously. Um, we have the Eve's veggie pepperoni. So it's a good source of protein. And probably salt, so don't get carried away <laughs> having this too often. <laughs> or do, whatever, I'm not your mom. Okay, so I chopped up two large cloves of garlic that I'm going to put on the olive oil side. Next thing we're going to put on that side is some fresh oregano. You can also top up your um, finished pizza with it. I like just putting it under the cheese um, because then it won't burn. Yeah, it just comes off just like that, like if you <laughs> just pull it off. Anyways. Okay, so um, next up we're going to put um, a layer of cheese. I have the Daya Mozza flavor. I'm pretty sure this stuff is just available everywhere, so wherever you are, I bet you can find it. If not, I don't know what to tell you. Nice layer of cheese on the top there. Now we're gonna put some fresh vegetables on the side with just garlic and oregano. Gonna cut them in half and spread them around. Um, also, I forgot to mention, as always, um, your oven should be preheating on 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and then I'm going to put a little bit of green pepper. I'll tip it over the entire pizza. of hot air. All right, this is honestly perfect. So um, total was 20 minutes. Um, I put it in for 10 on one side, took it out just to turn it around to get that side a little bit even. So about five more minutes on that side and then I just evened it out on the one side because there's one spot in my stove that's like way hotter than the rest. So I decided to sort of rotate it. You might have to do that as well. Um, so yeah, that is that. Now let's get this pizza 
out this pan. Hopefully it's not stuck. It's not stuck. <laughs> Ugh, after all that, imagine. <laughs> probably a few minutes before I eat it. However, um, I left out the fresh oregano. So if you didn't catch it any of those other times that I did this, um, I'm just taking like the stick by the top there and just pulling it and it just comes right off the stem. You just put it on the pizza like that. All right, so there you have it. Um, super simple, like very minimal ingredients, uh, pizza dough. And then yeah, whatever pizza toppings you like, these are the ones that I like. Um, sometimes I put spicier stuff on it, like jalapeno and serrano. But I just didn't feel like it today because I'm probably just going to top it with some spicy ketchup, aka Valentina's. Um, <laughs> anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, leave me a comment, let me leave me a comment and let me know if you've tried this. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification if you want to be notified for the next time my videos come out. Peace.